Okay, let's find x and y intercept. To find x and y intercept is very easy. You just give, to find the x intercept, you give 0 to y, and to find the y intercept, you give 0 to x. So if we give, if we put x equals 0, we will find the y intercept. And when we give y equals 0, we will find the x intercept. For example, let's graph this equation first and then we'll see uh, how to do it algebraically. y equal negative 3x plus 2 is, you go to here in the y-axis, you go to 2, this is the y-intercept, then you go 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down, and 1 right. That would be a line like this one, okay? Now, let's see, take a look, which are the intercepts. The y-intercept which is the point where the line cut the y-axis or cross the y-axis is here in 2. And here the point where the line cross the x-axis we need to find it. Okay, I know it's uh, 2 over 3 but let's find it uh, algebraically. Okay. To find the y-intercept first, we give 0 to x. So if x is 0, we substitute 0 in x, negative 3 times 0 is 0, then y equal 2, okay? So that will be y equal negative 3 times 0 plus 2. This is 0, so y will be equal 2, okay? So the y-intercept is here in 2, the point is 0, 2, okay? That's the point. The y is 2, the x is 0. Now, to find the x-intercept, we give 0 now to y. We substitute 0 in y to find the x-intercept. This is what we do. 0 is equal negative 3x plus 2. So we move the 2 positive here, negative, that will be negative 2 divided by negative 3, negative 2 divided by negative 3, that's x, and minus divided by minus is plus, so the, the x will be equal 2 over 3. So the point would be 2 over 3, comma, 0. We give 0 to y to find the x-intercept. So this point here, where the line cross the x-axis is in two-thirds, okay? Let's take a look to another example, okay? I recommend you to pause the video and try to do this one. It's a little bit harder, but anyway, I will solve it, okay? But if you wanna try, just pause the video, do your best, and then you can check your answer. Okay, now you have your answer. Let's see if it's correct or not. Okay, to find, again, to find the x in, the y-intercept, x equals 0, x equals 0, we're going to find the y-intercept. Let's do that first. x equals 0 means we'll replace here, we substitute 0 times 1 half is 0, 2y equals negative 4. If we have 2y equal negative 4, y is equal negative 2, okay? So the point would be 0 comma negative 2. We have already the point. Then we're going to graph. In this case, we're going to do the algebraic part first. Then, to find the x-intercept, y equals 0, we're going to find the x, x-intercept. So it's y 0, we just put here 0. Now, that will be 2 times 0. It's 0, you only have this, 1 half of x minus 4. So, 0 is equal 1 half of x minus 4. This 4 move here to the left, or you add 4 on both sides, so that will be, and then you times by 2. 4 times 2 is equal x, that will be equal 8. So that means that the point would be 8 comma 0. So let's do the graph to have a better idea how does it looks like. If we graph this equation, first we need to write it in slope-intercept form, this equation. So what we do is y equal 
this equation is equivalent to y equal this 2, I have to divide it, everything here divided by 2, 1 half divided by 2 is 1 fourth, 1 fourth of x, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 minus 2. That's the equation in slope intercept form. Remember the general formula is mx plus b. Okay, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. Here it is. As we have here, 0, negative 2. This, this is the point in the graph. Then we go one up. This is negative 2, this is negative 1. So one up and 1, 2, 3, 4 right. This is the other point. Okay, this is the line. Now, if this is a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In 8 is where the line cross the x-axis. And here we have 8, 0, 8 in x, 0 in y. Okay, I hope this video helped you a little bit, and we will do more. Thank you for watching Finding X and Y Intercept.